Yo, what is going on guys? This is Mike or Geekerman and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. So we are down to our very last sniper rifle that we need to get gold for and that is the semi-auto caribou carabiner, the carabin. So if you're not sure how to get gold with this weapon, I would highly recommend playing hardcore. I hardly ever play hardcore, but what's good about the hardcore game mode is that your damage for your weapons is increased across the board or your health is totally lowered, one of the two. But what happens is it makes your gun a one-hit kill. So you can actually use it like the the bolt action snipers hit one hits to the chest not have to worry about making every single kill a headshot that's my number one tip for the sniper to get gold you definitely want to be playing hardcore it's actually a ton of fun because you suddenly have a super powerful semi-auto uh, sniper rifle and there's not a lot of those in this game but in hardcore it does pretty well oh couldn't see the fourth guy I've gotten a few Fury kills and I think one really solid montage clip in Hardcore. I think that this is the only game mode that I'm going to be able to hit clips with this weapon in because four headshots with the Carabin in non-Hardcore, extremely difficult to do. Even for the best Call of Duty players, headshots in this game I feel like are much different than headshots in a lot of other games. Destiny, it's like, yeah, you gotta hit the headshot to get the snipes, but the time to kill for every weapon is so fast in this game. It's crazy how fast the time to kill is in Hardcore. It's something I really, really have to get used to. It's pretty much the first person to look in hardcore is who wins the gunfight. One thing that I like about hardcore is I think it really ups your awareness when you're playing because you don't have your radar so you really have to focus on who's in front of me. Are they on my team because there is friendly fire. Oh, saw a guy go around the bus. You ready for him? And there he is. Took longer than expected but we got him. Oh, another guy. Gotcha. The other thing with the carabin is it's probably the most forgiving. Hardcore carabin is the most forgiving sniper rifle I've ever used. You saw me turn, miss the first shot, but it's like, that's okay. We got a second shot in there, especially with rapid fire on. I do have to be careful though, because if I'm going for montage clips, I don't want the clip to be me going. Because honestly, with this sniper rifle, especially with the ACOG sight, there is not much recoil at all. So you can just unload on your opponent. All right, I guess we'll push for B. Look at us objective players. I'm so glad I didn't snipe my teammate right there. It is funny in this game mode, they'll kick you for friendly fire. So I gotta be careful, like right there, I gotta be careful shooting the bad guy, not the good guy. There's one. Got another one. I kind of like this spot because they're pushing the other direction so they don't see me. Oh man, I missed that guy back in the door. Let's see, where to push, where to push. See? This spot. New meta. This spot right here. All right, let's check out the camos. We have 26 more kills that we need with the Carabin, and then two more five kill streaks. Okay, that should take us another one, maybe two games. Oh, snap. Haywire 2. Yeah, so one thing I did want to mention in this video is I really want to thank you guys for the support on the Call of Duty videos. You guys, I know that I haven't been playing as much Destiny. I haven't played any Destiny 2. I haven't even installed the Curse of Osiris expansion. Honestly, it's kind of sad to me to see the state of the Destiny 2 community. A lot of people that I thought would never leave Destiny, like Luminosity, Sir Demetrius, Cruiser, Hush, all these guys that I thought for sure would be hardcore Destiny fans, even even when the game had a lull, they were dedicated Join Destiny him. fans. They've all kind of drifted to other games, and I think it's the lack of communication with Bungie. I think the limited playlists, the nerfs across the board, the lack of actually feeling like you're a legendary player, that... That is a real thing in Destiny 2. I think uh, as a big fan and a longtime community member of the Destiny community, it is kind of sad for me to see the game in this state. I, I don't want this. I want Destiny 2 to be incredible. But if you've played it, you know that it's really, it's just missing that fun factor for a lot of players. And sadly, I think it's just pushed a lot of people away from the series right now. And that bums me out because, you know, Destiny, huge community. Even when things were rough in Destiny 1, I feel like the support and the community was always there giving feedback giving advice, trying to make the game better for everyone. And you know, there was disagreements and there was people who argued with each other, but honestly, everyone in the community, no one in Destiny 1 really thought about leaving the game. There were a few people here and there when they didn't make changes back in year two. But honestly, everybody really stuck with the game, even through thick and thin. There's one, walks into a wall, makes a good snipe, walks into a wall. 
best plays for you guys. Yeah, so honestly, I play Destiny 1 because I'm a fan of the game, not because it's the most active game right now. I know many people have moved on to other games, but Destiny 1's fun. I'm still working on going for clips in that game. I actually hit an all Telesto breaker in Destiny 1 just yesterday, and so I'm really excited to put that video together. I may have posted before this video, I'm not sure. But yeah, I just hit that. I was super excited when it happened, and that's the main reason that I'm playing Destiny 1. I would say going for clips, going for really cool challenges is really my main purpose in that game. But I will say, as far as games that have come out recently, Call of Duty World War II... Oh, I sniped the guy behind him! Call of Duty World War II is my go-to game. I play this on the daily now. I go for sniping clips. There's just a lot of things done well in this game. Even though it has microtransactions, I feel like it was approached properly. I feel like they did a good job making it not feel like it's a pay-to-win game, or that the in-game grind is something you have to buy. With COD, I don't have to purchase a single thing, and yeah, I won't get some cosmetic variants, but I'm not missing anything. With Destiny, I feel like Bright Ingrams were the in-game. That's pretty much all there was and especially once they released the throttling for it it was kind of like well uh, I tried to jump out. This isn't regular. What am I doing? I do think Call of Duty had a rough launch initially with a lot of the server issues, but now that the game's kind of hit its stride, it's a ton of fun. And I think that's the thing with Destiny 2. When it first started, it was like, oh, well, it's just launching. It's brand new. Give it some time. But as time went on, the community has dwindled more and more. People are leaving more and more, not coming back. With Call of Duty, there were some server issues, but everyone that played the old Call of Duties is playing World War II. That's what you want from a sequel. You want your dedicated fan base enjoying the game. So sorry, it's, it's kind of turned into a mini rant here. Sorry about that. But uh, either way, I just want to thank you guys. I really appreciate the support on the uh, World War II videos. I've loved playing this game. I'm going to continue to play this game. And I think my Call of Duty community and people who watch me for Call of Duty will continue to grow. I know it's tough for any YouTuber to be able to play multiple games and have success with it. Yes, yeah, so long story short, you guys are by far the best community I could ask for. Uh, any other YouTuber would tell you that swapping games is one of the hardest things and and just knowing that I'm free to post whatever I feel like playing whatever I'm enjoying and you guys will still watch you still support it's just nice to have that kind of freedom as a youtuber I, I don't think very many youtubers have the ability to do that so I, I really appreciate it thank you guys so much I'm looking forward to the next year I think there's gonna be a lot of uh, I think there's gonna be a lot of really cool montages coming out I'm working on the destiny one montage part two I'm working on the call of duty montage and both of those are coming along really really nicely i'm excited for you guys to see them so yeah i know i sound like a broken record but i really do appreciate the support you guys the reason i continue to push forward even when the views are down destiny 2 seems down i strive to continue to create content solely because i know you guys are really going to enjoy it so yeah, i'm kind of starting back at the ground level for the call of duty videos but i think it's going to be worth it because i think that i could actually be a big content creator in the call of duty space and not to sound super cocky or too confident or anything but i think that i have the capacity to create quality call of duty videos and i think if i can find the right audience for that then it's gonna be worth it I know one thing is that I'm really enjoying making the videos for Call of Duty a lot more than something like Destiny 2 and for me that itself what what hit marker and hardcore and that in itself I think is worth it if you're passionate and you're happy about what you're creating it's worth it that's it for me if you guys did enjoy the video make sure and smash that like button it means so much to me and it really helps this channel grow and if you want to see more Call of Duty World War 2 content like this make sure you subscribe to join the geek squad Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. Mm -hmm.